<laughs> all right, all right. Hello, everyone. This is Kuroda coming after giving you a game between Gold Age, who is also known as Sinny, uh, going up against Vortex here on Concealed Hill. Not quite sure where my co-caster is or what's going on with the audio. Vortex has spawned as the pink undead over here on the top right-hand side of the map. Meanwhile, Gold Age is on the bottom left-hand side of the map, spawning as the blue night elf. All right, this is from Todd's Tag Team Tournament, and as you guys will notice, it is not a replay. So this is live. A lot of issues this morning trying to just get everything going. Not quite sure what to make of it. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what's going to be going on in this 1v1 tournament, or this Todd's Tag Team Tournament. Um, this is a 1v1 match. Uh, I believe it's Vortex Lucifron going up against Sinai and Pink. All right, so there's a li little bit of good luck. Good luck, have fun coming in from both players as we are already getting underway, opening up with a uh, well, ghouls and what is going to be the hero of choice? It is going to be a death knight. Death knight going up against keeper of the grove. Ancient of war is off already over here, getting underway. And well, yeah, I, I don't know why I'm not getting called over in Discord or, or, or chat or anything like that. Hmm. Maybe I should chat. That's good. I the think I was sitting in the waiting room. Attack. Hello, hello? Hello? Hi, Todd. Can you hear me? You're muted, bro. <laughs> oh, I'm muted. <laughs> okay, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I see you muted in this call, Krota, if you can hear me, so you might want to unmute. Yeah, no. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, I can. All right. Uh, well, first I want to say thank you for um, well, letting me join you today, even though things got off to a really rocky start. Yeah. It's the day of uh, problems again. Like, it's so sick. I ordered food. Because I didn't, I felt like I didn't have time to like go, go out or like make something, and then the the delivery person, you know, you can see on the map where they are. He was down my building for 20 minutes, unable to find the door. He called me explaining why it was still unable to find it. I'm like, how is this even possible? <laughs> and so after that, I go live, and now I hear myself in my earphones, which wasn't there yesterday, and I have no idea how to fix it because I'm a tech moron, and usually a friend helps me, but now he's sleeping. Oh, um... And then these uh, join bug things. Oh uh, yeah, the joint. Okay, so um, your audio interface. Do you have a Do you have a, a tape to mix? Um, if you have tape to mix, you probably want to hit that so that you can hear um, off of your RCAs. Because I I have the same thing, and I and it's just like a single button on on my audio interface. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not actually sure. I'm a tech moron. Is the problem? <laughs> so I don't. Yeah. I don't know how to use any of this, and I'm worried that if I change one of the settings, it's gonna break everything as well. Mm -hmm. All right, well, so let's. I prefer not to do anything for now. It's a little bit annoying, but I, c I can bear with it. But yeah, at least I wish we didn't have like 50 join bugs in a row. Yeah, let, let's let's stop start, let's stop casting about our day and start getting into the game here between what um, Sinai. <laughs> Sinai and Vortex, Night Elf versus Undead here. Death Knight not going to run down here, trying to get a surround onto that Keeper of the Grove, but no, in quick and tangle onto that Ghoul. Archers, however, forced away. Death Knight should get an easy Death Coil here. No, it looks like Vortex is going to end up getting the kill, trying to take down an Archer. So a little bit of a Gambit trade there to take down an Archer. Yeah, Sinai has been playing a decent amount on uh, W2 Champions. I saw him putting some games in. And uh, getting ready for this, he knew about this match for a while now. Mm -hmm. It was one of the teams that signed up earlier. I feel like uh, Pink in particular might be really underrated. He's like not very well known, but I think oh, Pink is really good. Obviously, Sin is not bad as well. Mm -hmm. and these guys, they are capable of surprising maybe, but they are facing the the Los Polios Hermanos. Is their team name? The oh, Chicken yeah. Brothers. Yeah, the, the brothers. I mean, they, if they have, they have to have good teamwork. So. I think everyone's expecting the, in at least in the 2v2 portion, for them to take that, you know, the good synergy, good teamwork, being able to work together as Vortex now backs up here. So, so far, it looks like Tree of Life, it, Huntress Hall is coming down. Ancient of Lore should be falling off right there. Tech to Tier 2, nearly done. Should have a quick Tech to Tier 3 as 
Undead seems to do everything at tier tier three these days. Yeah, that's the big power spike with uh, the orb and everything. Yeah. yeah, before that, Vortex actually usually uses a lot of gargoyles. I'm almost kind of like surprised you're not to see him use them on the map where they can be really good. And yeah, he's not one of those players that likes to expand a ton against Elf. Usually, more tier three stuff. I don't know if he will have any information actually about Cine. Like it's kind of hard to play a match like this. You don't know anything about the opponent, so. Yeah, if you don't know very much, and these, I, th I think Cine and Pink, really, there's not a Players lot of information out there. But if I'd had to go against a uh, semi pros in any nation, I'd hate to go against the Chinese because they just have, you know, Warcraft Three is just still so popular there that even their second-rate uh, professional players can seem to surprise you out of nowhere with these, you know, strategies or just amazing micro. We are looking at, well, uh, Sydney opening up with a Demon Hunter. Second, well, most likely Keeper of the Grove will try to do a little bit of harassment. No, Demon Hunter finds the Death Knight first, gets a mana burn off, and is able to save those archers as they're going to be trying to dive back in as well. Thank you, Death Knight, for the host. Yeah, big deal, actually. The Keeper walked... Wait, what? The Keeper walked into the the main base of Vortex and entangled one of the Acolytes. So immediately Vortex cancelled tier 3. He realized that he was going to lose too many Acolytes and uh, not be mining as much because he, uh, he had just started recently. So that's going to delay the tech quite a bit. Mm -hmm. I don't know why he does it just now as well. Like Maybe he thought there was a Cloak of Shadow or maybe a Ward, which as far as I can tell, there was never a Ward found to Vortex. That was a bit strange. Yeah. All right. So Keeper of the Grove gonna back away here. Should be trying to keep the Death Knight at bay. Death Knight, or Demon Hunter wanting to get to level three. That's gonna be that power spike. Keeper of the Grove gonna be away from all of that creeping action. Meanwhile, Death Knight of Vortex sitting at level two, and the Keeper of the Grove is still gonna come back over here, harass Vortex. Wants to get to level three. Should be able to do it pretty quickly and easily. He needs to get one more shot there. Finally, level three there as the Lich could turn around and get some damage onto that Keeper of the Grove. But still, the Dryad's now coming in. Demon Hunter joining in on the battle instead of trying to do any more creeping. And now, that level one Demon Hunter taking a Death Coil and a Frost Nova being forced and zoned back out. Still takes a lot of damage even though there isn't that Orb of Corruption yet on that Lich. Quick entangle right there. We could have a Scroll of Town Portal transfer just in case. And there you are finishing off a couple of archers before, well, um, Vortex backs out. Yeah, with, with the expo on the way, this is a very interesting position here now that Cine is in, where he hasn't taken to tier 3 yet. He's getting a lot of dryads. I, wonder, I don't think he's going to stay tier 2, but under attack. never really know. If he thinks there's a big push coming, and there should be, right? The 50 supply push with uh, the orb from Undead, usually it's going to be there. Maybe you just stay on tier 2 and just spam dryads and then try and hold on against this. Yeah, buy yourself enough time to get that expansion to pay for itself and hold off here. We are looking at, well, a little bit longer for that Orb of Corruption, but we're going to have another potential creep back here. Lich gets mana burned once more. There are double Obsidian statues, so mana is not going to be that big of an issue. But really, um, Cindy is going to punish Lucifer or punish Vortex right here. Potion of Lesser Invulnerability being used, but there's just not enough Crypt Fiends to deal with the Dryads. They're going to try and swarm Obsidian Statues, providing plenty of appeal as we're going to see another Frost Nova and a Surround go on to the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter using a Potion of Lesser Invulnerability, and that Lich is 15 seconds are finally up. He gets entangled. He's going to get taken down as Keeper of the Grove is going to continue to, well, lead the charge or, well, lead the retreat back here. No, Demon Hunter trying to get away Death Knight. Um, with that unholy aura, still not enough as we see a quick resurrection at the tavern. Um, Vortex has to be careful, can't spend too much gold there. He, there are some other things he wants to purchase. And that was interesting. Players Usually, Night Elf will be the defender on their side of the map, especially when Expo is going up. But Cine probably realized that with the delayed tier 3, there was not going to be an orb yet. And he's like, oh, if I can take a fight before you're going to add orb, that's going to be really good for me. He got some trades in, pulled back eventually. And now he has a big opportunity to just save gold for a while. I think he's, he might have made, he might have also made Wisp here for a bit. Definitely made a lot of them. And he obviously has a lot of, of lumber. But yeah, he can just save up for a while. Maybe like, I don't know, six, seven hundred, stay on 50 and then go straight to 60, 65 and then 70 supply and then just try to outmass the opponent. Yeah, I think that's really where he's going right now. Vortex is behind on supply here, trying oh to my rebuild. Oh, he used his... on the DK. 
Oh, wait. What? Yeah, I heard the sound of Invuln. I was like, what? And then I checked Vortex's DK. He used Invuln. All right, so... Axe, yeah, this is... W was it the lesser invulnerability or was it an, was it the full 15 second? I don't know, actually. I think he might have been the lesser. I, I don't... What did he get from the right-hand side camp? I, I don't know. I, I haven't I've been... had any food yet today, man. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, like my brain's not all in this either. All right, potential creep jack coming in from the back here. Lich needs could have gotten some easy damage on that Dryad. Dryad's running away with three hit points, and the ghoul doesn't even get the last shot there. So, a little bit of luck once more. We are looking at a well, level three keeper of the grove, level three demon hunter. Exactly what you want for the night elf in this stage. We are tech. No, we're still at tree of ages. So opting to go into low upkeep while not at. Um, um, instead of teching the tier 3 here, so 59 over 60 supply, just an army of mass dryads going up against Vortex's army, and I'm assuming Vortex's power spike, um, with that orb of corruption, more crypt fiends should be able to repel this army of, of dryads if there's enough focus fire here. Um, yeah, a little bit curious going on, going into this next fight. Yeah. Vortex is still going to do the uh, 50 supply push that I talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be the really, like, the best chance that you have of, you know, winning this kind of game. But he's already on 48 out of 50. He doesn't have an extra Zig. He's getting burrowed now. A lot of the time you would see undeads here grab um, Tinker Third for Pocket Factory for a little bit of extra, I guess, tanking potential at the front and also mm -hmm. damage. Vortex Fountain? He needs a, he needs a Zig. He hasn't had it an extra ziggurat to break. Gets DK level 4, Lich level 3, Illusion coming in now. It's gonna be a dispel. There's a mana pot very importantly on the DK. Burrow is not finished yet, I think. Yeah, so he's gonna lose that fiend right off the bat, but he's going to work on the Dryas now. Alright, Vortex continuing to make its way, trying to dive on in on all those units, taking out some of those Dryads. Demon Hunter getting in a lot of work, mana burning. Death Knight does have that mana pot, but he doesn't have any more, and we see the Keeper of the Grove nearly blasted away a swirl of town portal to try and save there's another departing mana burn gift from the demon hunter death knight down to zero mana but it will give him time to clear out this fountain of health and perhaps do that follow-up push that we've been mentioning meanwhile um, Sydney is sitting at 55 over 70 supply does have that expansion running for him he should be trying to train up more units and he's still at tree of ages it looks like he's going to try to stick at a tier two push uh, or steer, stick at tier two for even longer perhaps getting up to 70 supplies the demon hunter mana burns that death knight again in that forward location using a potion an invul potion once more for the sound levels guys as well if Krota is not loud enough you can raise him just let me know and Vortex, he's got the one destroy, needs to really make those dispel count here. Against Trance, against Entangle, he's completely out of mana on the DK here right now. Even though he's got some statues active. Sin is doing a very good job mana burning the correct hero all the time. There's no town follow for Vortex. He does have a healing scroll, he's gonna have to time that really well. Maybe now very soon, yeah, there it is. Uses Burrow. There is a dust for uh, Sin, I believe, but it's on the demon, which was sent back home, stuffed right back into the fight. He uses that immediately and he's going for the fiends. Abom joins the fight, but there is no disease cloud yet, so the strides not suffering from that just yet. Yeah, no, 61 supply compared to 42. Vortex is in a lot of trouble trying to chase down units. Dryads are able to finish off the destroyer here, and this is just um like just you know a brute force battle. Mass dryads causing a lot of problems, and it doesn't and it's also the micro behind that demon hunter and that keeper of the grove keeping his opponent honest. Vortex has not been able to get nearly as much damage and the much nero hero nuking potential at all. Surround on the Death Knight and Death and the Vortex gives the GG.